Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with the latest in data research and analytics. So today we are looking at how we can take data from an HTML table or website page and get it easily into R. So the really nice package we're going to be using for this is called Data Pasta. So if you haven't already installed this package we go down to the package tab and install and then we enter data pasta we hit install and that will install the data pasta package for us once you've installed it most likely you will need to reset uh, restart r studio uh, because what we want to see is up here in the add-ins the data pasta functions that we are going to be using so if you go to add-ins, you don't see these, then restart the uh, studio and these should hopefully appear. If they still don't appear, uh, then going to tools, add-ins, browse add-ins, lets us check uh, that they have actually been correctly installed and we should see them there. In here, we can also set up keyboard shortcuts for them. So if this is something you are going to be using a lot of, particularly the copy paste, then having some keyboard shortcuts is really handy. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to get this data that I have over here. We've got uh, cricket data, it's the most ducks, which if you're not a cricket follower, is a score of zero. Uh, luckily, I'm not on the table here. And we can just grab and select our table. Uh, we can come all the way down, I'm only gonna come part way down. Uh, and then we can copy and then over here in our studio if we go to add-ins we can go paste as a data frame uh, the other one you may also be interested in if you're a tidyverse user is paste as a triple we're going to go with the data frame so we'll put in paste as a data frame and you can see that it has copied all of the data that i selected but it has given us the uh, column headers and all of the separation that we needed. So now I can just go and I can add a data frame name in here. So we'll call it most ducks. Uh, and if we want to, we can run this. And I now have my data sitting in there. We can go and explore. So really easily and painlessly, I've been able to copy all of that and not have to worry about any of the formatting and I now have it in a data frame to be able to do my analysis. So that is super easy. That is gonna save you so much time. Uh, we can come over and maybe grab some data off a different page uh, and just show that it works on other pages as well. So I'm using Firefox here. The reason I'm using Firefox is if we hold the control button, in Firefox, we can select uh, just certain columns. So I can copy, come back over here, go add-ins, we'll paste as a data frame again, and it's pasted my selection. Just grabbing those first two because I didn't want the percentage column. So that's a nice little tip uh, in Firefox, hold and control will let you select just columns. As far as certainly at the time of recording this video, Brave and Chrome do not. You can get Chrome extensions to do it, but just by, by default in Firefox, it will do it. Uh, okay, so one other thing we might be interested in is we might only want a vector. So let's suppose we want maybe just the first few of these items here so again holding control select them a copy come across go to add-ins and i can paste as a vector and so it will give me my c my commas separating each of the items and the in bracket Okay, so one final comment, uh, just in case you hadn't come across it before, is you'll notice that our digits here have the letter L, capital L on the end of them. Same with those previous ones we copied over. And 
basically what that is is just an indication to R to treat these as integers. So you'll notice if we look at the one that we created before, they all had L's on them, but once they are here in the table, they are just being treated as numbers. So that's what the L's are, just in case you were concerned that maybe it was doing something a little bit funny. So that is the data pasta package. Really, really helpful. It's got a few other neat little things like being able to export uh, code for your data as well that we might look at another time. Uh, but for anyone that's doing any kind of web scraping, pulling data out of any kind of tables or Wikipedia, anything else like that, this is going to be really helpful.